Okay, just a little quick video. Um, you know, I had some people, you know, when they saw my uh, my ghost videos, um, you know, like they were like, sorry, move the camera. Like, oh, they were like, oh my god, I'm like, I would be so scared, and um, you know, how could you live there? Well, anywhere I go, it's probably it's always going to be the same because I've moved several times. And, um, and the longer you're just in one place, the more, you, more happens. Um, so, um, you know, so they're like, I'm, I'm, you know, first of all, I don't know if I explained this tonight, I can't remember, but when you see a ghost that's good, it's like you're seeing, um, a real person and you just don't think about it. I, I don't think your mind doesn't grasp the concept until after it's all done. And then you're like, wait a minute. Did I just see that? You know? And a lot of people see things and they always brush it off. Like, for instance, you know, like, because my hair is always pulled back. So, you know, sometimes if you have hair on your face and you move, you may, your hair will kind of maybe make it look like something went by you. So if your hair is back and you see something, you know, you're like, you know, you look. Or when you get that eerie feeling that someone is staring at you. Um more than likely you're just getting a sense of it and your spirit senses it because it's a spirit and that's a spirit. Your body has a spirit in it, you know, and that, um, it senses that's there, you know, whether you, I think when you don't act upon what you feel, like if you don't stop and look and note that you saw them or that you felt them, that eventually they give up on, um, my kitties, um, and they give up on you and they go to other people or they try to find other people that can see them. Um, so, you know, I mean, if you want to be, if you're the kind of type of person that you're like, yes, I would like to see paranormal. I would like to do this, this, this. When you do see something, stop and look at it, you know, because then they're like, wait a minute, she just saw me. And the next time, you know, it, it's really weird. I mean, my whole concept about, um, ghosts, I don't know, maybe it's different uh, than other people's, you know, I just always try to figure it out, because all these years of seeing things, you know, I've always just tried to figure out, um, why can't they just walk up to you and talk to you? Why they can't they be a full apparition all the time? Why is it sometimes just legs walking by, you know, with no body? Or why is it a torso with no legs or head? Or why is it just you know, a full apparition, or what if it's just, why is it just a white blobby ghost, or a full human figure, or, I never, I don't understand all that part, why aren't they all the same, I mean, I like get in deep thoughts about these things, um, why, um, can't they have, like, full conversation, because I've heard them, you know, I've actually talked to them thinking they are real. So I know that I can hear them and talk to them because it's happened by accident. Um, you know, that's the things that go to my mind. I always think that there's just like, I don't know how to word it properly. So I'm just going to word it my own hillbilly way. But I think there's just like, you know, like it, it just reminds me of this. There just has to be this link where two, where, you know, the two sides connect properly. Where they're able to come through and then say what they want to say and then they're back in and then it... You know, and then it, like, totally goes, oh, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's weird, but there, it seems like there has to be, for them, their individual, just a time where they do something. I don't know. It's really, it's really confusing. I mean, everybody has their concept on, um, what ghosts are, whatever, you know, um, why they're here. I don't, you know, it's, it's really frustrating. So, um, when I see a ghost and they're good ghost, I am not afraid of them. Um, there's only been a couple of times where I was actually afraid, like when I was in the workout room and I thought I was talking to my boyfriend that, that was my boyfriend at the time because I was right in the middle of this big room in the dark and I'm like, Oh my God, Oh my God. Cause I was never afraid the whole time that happened. I would have sensed if it was bad. Um, so it just, just scare me, you know, cause I've done stuff. I mean, I've, you know, had, had them touch me. You know, a lot of stuff. So, um, and I wasn't scared. I was just like, oh God, here we go again. Um, if it is not a good spirit or if it's a bad spirit, you will be afraid. You will get 
you know, the goosebumps where you feel like, like the hair is standing on the back of your neck. Um, now, just because they're not a good spirit doesn't mean that they're like evil or bad or devils or, you know, just maybe they just weren't really good people when they died. Um, that it doesn't mean that they're going to hurt you. Uh, doesn't mean that they're going to scare you. Your, your spirit is sensing them, their spirit. That's it. Um, the more bad I think it is, um, the more you're going to be afraid because your spirit senses, wait a minute, this isn't good. This isn't a good spirit. This, then you will be afraid. Um, so that's one way to know, you know, because you will not be afraid if you see a, a spirit and they're good and they turn around and look at you. you I'm serious. I, I just don't know how to explain it. You're just, your mind is like, what is is going on here? I mean, you're just trying to like figure out. I just saw feet walk by. No, I did not. I mean, and in your head, you're always going to say, no, I did not. No, I didn't. You know, so yeah, you did. And, um, but the more you push that away, cause I've gone through periods where I didn't see things for years because I kept pushing them away. And there was a religion that I was in at the time. And they said that that is a bad gift to possess and that they're all evil, and and basically that I'm bad because I can see this and sense these. So, I mean, I really had to push these things back, and if I saw something, I totally ignored it and turned my back on it. I never talked about them or seeing them. You know, I never discussed anything with anybody because I was so scared that I was doing something bad. Well, then I got out of that religion, and and it was a good thing and um, because I was very unhappy. And, um, you know, I just always want to do things, you know, that's good, you know, that God appreciates. So, um, you know, I found another religion and I'm very, very happy with this religion. And, um, they think that that is a special gift to receive and they do not think that it, I'm evil or like a witch. Um, you know, I've been, I mean, I've studied witchcraft when I was younger and, and, um, cause I was just trying to find my way, you know, around here and understanding probably cause I grew up with, you know, ghosts in my house. And so, you know, I knew that, you know, I don't know, you know, what I was thinking, but, um, you know, it's, a, it's life. We all go through different things and we learn new things and find our way and, and we lose our way and then we find it back again, you know, so it's all good because I'm, you know, I love my religion. I have, they're awesome, amazing people. And, being in, in that church is like being at home, you know, so that's, I know is the right place for me. And I believe that everybody has the right place for them. And whether it's studying, you know, Wicca or whatever, your you, whatever you do, you know, that is on you and, um, whatever makes you happy. That's how I think you should be. Um, cause I never judge people as long as they don't hurt people. I never judge people and their religion. I don't, you know, I think your religion is your religion. It doesn't have to be my religion. And so when you, if you see a good spirit, you're not, I'm swear to God, you're not going to be afraid. And you're going to probably think it's for, it's either real or B it's, um, your eyes are playing tricks on you. So in the whole time you're trying to figure it out, it's already gone. And then you're like, wait a minute, did I just see that? That's weird, you know, and that's what you're, that's what's going through your head. So I'm almost done with the time here, but I thought I'd go ahead and make a video for Thursday because I could do whatever I want for Thursdays and people were really interested in the whole ghost thing. So I thought that kind of clears some things up. Um, if you guys have any questions, just write them in the crotch area, you know, in the comment area. I can't say crotch bar because you're not writing them in the crotch bar. I write them in the crotch bar. I think the crotch bar is so hilarious. Only one person has said it on YouTube and I'm like waiting for other people to say it. I'll have it listed in the crotch bar. <laughs> so I will have some things listed in my crotch bar and um, we'll go from there. But yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions and then I just write them all down and then I just do a video when I get enough questions together um and you know ghosts can't hurt you you know i mean they can scare you but they can't hurt you i mean it's in the bible they can't hurt you um so anyways you don't have to worry um so i think i explained pretty much what i want so if there's any questions you have please just you know send me a message you can private message me you know i don't care i love you guys bye